Oh great, it's more of this game. Sounds a little bit loud. I did muck around with my own sound setting, so I should be a little bit more silent now. Anyway, let's look at where my next level is even at. Uh, oh yeah, that's level 6. Such an awkward jump. Such a, such a, and Marianne. The Susan B. Anthony test. To make sure you are human too. You know, I'm gonna move the mouse pad over here. Yeah, yeah, we get it. There's a thing over there. We gotta do some things. Climb the plants first, way to the plants. Can I get in the oven? Mode? I don't think I can. Nope. So, so what are you supposed to do? This music is so annoying. Like, the, the jump kills all your momentum. That is an awkward set of jumps. Come on! Just believe! To succeed, you can't rise and just hang out for a jump here because you went out of a bit of grass for the I guess that's true. These leaves are very forgiving. So, for whatever reason, every single one of those leaves provides you with fresh water. So, running out of water is like zero priority here. It's more so that the jump can kill you really easily because of the. Tablecloth. I think it, they put it there just for that reason, just so to make sure that you will die and never return. The worst part about this jump is these end jumps, which just the whole concept of getting stuck on them in general. I like how it keeps playing that really dumb sound effect. This is harder than it looks, by the way. You will need to get a good grasp. There's a little hole in that coconut. I think there was a checkpoint actually halfway through on this uh, thing. What's my objective? Push off these nuts? Like what kind of plant? Like what kind of house is this? It's it's so quarterly designed. Yeah, there's stuff over there. Let's take a look. I like how fast you can move, man. It's so. Like, ing, 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 ing. Oh. I should have done something with like little Easter eggs. They just just look around. There's so much space to put just tiny little Easter eggs, and they don't. They never do. Where's our next level at? Level 7 is this one. What a weird place to put a level. Hey, the ho Yay, it works! Wow, that is a miracle. Maybe I can get Dark Souls to work online. Not that I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try that out anyway. Because I think I could run Dark Souls and record it, which means I could continue the walkthrough. Given the mood strikes me, mind you. You don't just make a walkthrough unless you really want to. Oh, this is some smooth jazz. Really walnuts? Like, why do you make a bigger object for this? By the way, this is as awkward as it seems. Drag like down there, like with the leaves and everything, but no. Oh, no, no, fuck you. Okay, I think you don't want to go up there yet. There's actually a walnut back here. I need to go up there eventually, but right now there's really no purpose. You're just gonna waste time. 
such a dick move. I, I think this is just... This is something you should never do in game design, unless you tell people that this is here, but... I like how the walnuts physics react, though. It's, it's, it's pretty incredible. Nice one, but I already did two! Yeah, this is about as interesting as it seems. This is something the game never explains to you, is you can actually jump into one of these cups and die. No, you can actually jump into one of these, and you basically get to ride them as a boat. Not on that edge, though. That edge is a big old meanie. But you can just push this around like some, like a... It's, it's terrible physics, but I like how they made it into a gimmick. It's like, oh, well, it's terrible, but we understand that it is, so we're going to make something fun out of it. One more to go. Oh, was that that fast? Hmm. So I didn't figure this one out originally. But yeah, if you know how to do this, you're pretty much set for life because this is the last walnut. you like I like the idea of this thing but it's so awkward luckily I figured out that this works like this like a hovercraft before I got too far one more to go. I don't need my hovercraft anymore anyway. I like how realistic this is. Like, it makes sense that things are designed like this. This one's a little bit different. You can't topple this without a little bit of help. Cough, cough. Cough drops! I think you could go for the walnut, but I like tipping it because fuck, that's fun. that sense of stranger danger. Can you topple this? I think you can. Like, everything alludes that you should be able to... I like how the second counter goes back to a, just one digit every time it goes to back below 10. Yes, I get it, there's numbers. Oh, you can, you can click and hold. Hmm. That took five minutes? Wow. Well, I guess death kind of adds a lot to it. Oh, look, the garden hose is unscrewed. Like, really, does it have to be this awkward? The answer is no, never, ever. One more level and we'll get the grab ability, which is going to be pretty spiff. So yeah, this is probably going to be a three-parter. Oh no, we get object control now. Now we got grab. 
Grab is pretty fucking cool. And this music is very weird. how it works. You need to collect droplets or you will fall back off. It is an incredibly interesting bit of maneuvering and it's not as difficult to maneuver as you might think. They handled this pretty well in the three-dimensional play. Just hold forward and you go forward. Press forward to move forward. God damn it. I thought I was done with helpful NPCs. This statue is pretty fucking cool. He has like all these little droplets on his leg and then go over his crotch because every fucking statue ever you have to go over the crotch. Like why not? It's the theme of the game. What's my objective even? Just getting to a flag? Ah, almost missed. Boy, I have to knock over the cups, isn't it? Yeah, that's about as nerve-wracking as it looks, by the way. Dear God, Mr. Bubble, you've got a lot of nerve. Like, why does this have this wacky music? Like, dun, dun. So this one's pretty damn cool. So I did this. If you don't have the right computer, this is going to knock your socks off. To save now, nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do both. I'm gonna live a shit. Let's beat it, beat it. And we gotta go up the back way. For whatever reason, you have to do it like this. I would actually keep track of what you did and what you didn't do. Cool. Oh, you can't. Nope. No, you can't cling around edges. Why? Because fuck you. Fuck her too. If I was richer, I probably wouldn't be playing this dumb game, but I'm trying to make a point here, kids. Oh, so you can't double jump from a fall, jack at Wow. That is incredibly cheap design. But geez, man. Just to get to level 10. Ah! Yeah, this is probably the most annoying level to get to. I know if level 10 is the last level or not, but I do know that it's one of the annoying levels. Basically how it works. It is as uninteresting as it seems, really. I like how they did this though. It's a nice idea conceptually, but it just it just falls a little bit short in execution.
I like the music. Today with the potatoes, you can knock things over. Nice one. You think that of all those things is zucchini would do it. Oh, so that's where those apple slices are everywhere. They're to regenerate your water. Pretty rapidly, mind you. Can I use yield in the potato to cross yield in the water or not? Button, by the way, one letting go and you're done. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go take a bit of a water break so I can control them easily, as the game says. It's very good at being a tutorial, like, oh well, see, there's apples over here, so I probably want to get some. It's been a while since we've seen an apple slice, though, so, yeah, the game says you need to use your common sense because it won't let you remember things. So this one's kind of wacky, it's like, hey, there's, there's things here, and I can't do anything with them. I can't control the potato for some reason. Heck, I can't even control these. Oh, they're all pierced. It's murder. Murder. Oh, there's droplets on them. That's that's a fancy effect to make it look like they're pierced. So the top one over there is actually not penetrated. Or actually, you can wiggle it off. So unless someone really, really, really wants me to, I will not do the next level. I'm going to show you the next level, but it stops at that. It's going to be all show, no tell. Aw, the moist hand doesn't regenerate health. But it's such a moist slice of ham. Well, maybe I can knock it over, but no, you're not supposed to knock it over. You're supposed to get some water, be a big boy about it, and just jump on top of it. That is clever. It teaches you a lot of applications, like right off the bat. I'm a little too close to my personal life. I just like how the droplets seem to be going at predetermined places. You stick on them very roughly. Just look at all this French. Get out of the way of French words! I don't need you. Nobody needs French words. Oh look, we're done. So! Level 10 is where the game loses pretty much my appeal because it doesn't have any checkpoints and it is a tedious level to begin with. And I don't like it and I hate it and I think 
like I said, unless someone really, really, really wants me to do it, I will not do level 10, and this is the end of everything. Well, that's fancy. Like, put that little word next to it, and it kept following. Oh, following! So this is why I flew it is such a terrible game. It has all those neat aspects and does very cool things with them, and then it just kicks you in the groin and says, I'm gonna blindfold you! With incredibly creepy music! So I can do this just for one minute. If I die, if I die. This OP is over. I do not want to do this, actually. What? It shows you to use tomatoes and potatoes, but then doesn't say, you know, you can also do a lot of other stuff with it. So are we going up? Are we going forward? No, we're going that way. Watch out, it's precariously placed box of sugars. This is nerve-wracking, of course. That's cute. All the 50s look. Everyone loves the 50s look. I never got this far, in my opinion. I never got past the cork. The cork was like, why the fuck did you do this? So I never really got to see if there were any checkpoints or anything. Oh, that looks spooky. That's, well, God, this game's so good. I like this, this is fun. I don't like this, I don't like it, and I like it as- Don't do auto-scrolling sections ever, they're not fun for platforming and- Ooh, we're at the wall? We were never at the wall. Like, we were always, like, in the middle of the room somewhere. By the way, this music's still creeping the living fuck out of me. Hey, where are you going, little buddy? Hey, where are you going? Yeah, there's another bit of coal, yeah? I did it! We're gonna continue the LP, people! One life! Wow! That feels good. Let's take a look at level 12 and we'll call it quits for this episode. I did not I did not- Ooh, Oh, that's cool. That's neat. So I did not anticipate actually beating that at all. Oh no, we're level 11. <laughs> Keep forgetting. Well, that was that was cool. This, this game really managed to pull itself together. It seems. It seems that I was just being a little pussycat about it. Meow meow meow. I'm a little pussycat. Meow meow meow. I'm a little pussycat. Meow 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 meow. Da 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 da. I'm a pussycat, but I'm not a doll. Ha! <laughs> Dolls. Dolls are for girls, and action figures are for action figure collectors. But I want to play with action figure doll collectors. How dare thou speak of the forgotten hybrid. Cause I need you. Cause I want you. Something is all about the music. I like to use words. They're fast and clean. 
Oh, this looks so cool! Let's see what this has to say. Find all seven st Oh, that sounds like a bit of a hassle. So let's do that next time! It seems this LP is not over. This is... God dang amazing. The music's great, the game feels great. And I'm gonna evaporate. But I saw heat waves, I know I did. Whatever. I'll see you guys next time. Hope you all enjoyed if you guys. Words were used in the production of this video.